This video is sponsored by LD Player. Honestly, my guys, I'm feeling a little bit itchy, so let's do some pulls. All right, and so to kick things off, we have this one over here, the Caledonia Summon. I'm just gonna do the 50% off one. Hopefully, I don't hit Caledonia because I literally just bought her. And so here we go, let's see what we get. Maybe we get a UR, maybe we don't. Okay, we get an SSR, so that means my pity is still building for hopefully, maybe one day, Muneer. And so it looks like we did get shuffle, so that's quite nice. And let's do the quick share thing so that I can get my little rebate of 50 gemmies. And there we go. And so let me head back and let's have a look at this new exclusive banner. It's, um, I honestly did not expect to see another exclusive summon because if you ask me, I reckon like one is enough. However, let's hit it. All right, so let's just try and be lucky if you can do that. Let's hit the tenor and pray, big pray, and we get a blue bag. Okay. Okay, I'm um I'm pretty upset. That was uh that was pretty bad. And so that has got my itch on. All right, I got another 30 pulls. Let's freaking go. Flora, alt, let's freaking go. You are. You are. And there is no UR. There is only an SSR and a massive amount of disappointment. Skip, skip, skip. Let's summon one more time for, uh, I'm second guessing myself now. Do I really want to run dry for this banner? I guess I do. I always want to run dry. Okay, that sounds really freaking weird, but that is just another SSR, which is tragic. And I have one last tenor and let's see what we get. And we do get a UR. All right. All right, let's see what we get over here. If we are actually able to beat the 50-50 or not. And so first up, we have a crush. And then we have the Cospitata. <laughs> Some of these names, man. We got Yothaya over here. We've got Nemesis over here. Come on. Come on, give me the juice. We got Nemesis again. And we... Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking freaking kidding me? You gave me the wrong floor, bro. Oh my god. What the frick? Are you serious? Okay. Okay. You know what? Uh, I, okay. Can I be mad? Can I be mad? Uh, I, I really want to be mad. Holy moly. Okay, skip. Oh my god. I can't believe we just got a flora dupe and it was the wrong flora. Like, who does this happen to? Who? What? What? What crappy luck? What? Uh, this is such a sick joke. Holy moly. I roll for flora. I do get flora but it's the wrong freaking flora, like holy crap. At this point, I don't know if I should keep rolling 120 summons until the guarantee. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I'm on two pulls over there. All right, you know what? Let's see if we can scrap anything together. It looks like I can get four pulls over here. Let's do some redeems. We can get, yeah, okay. However, at this moment, I don't think I'll be able to pull together a 10 pull. Hold up, wait a second, maybe I can. Yeah, at this moment, I don't think I can, but if I do, I will let you guys see the next 10 pulls. Maybe. All right, my guys, so a couple of days or probably weeks have passed since I've rolled on this banner over here. Honestly, I told myself I wouldn't be going for her, but because she's exclusive and she kind of cute, I'm going to be going for her. And so today it looks like I'm going to have 30 plus another 40 pulls. So 70, we might make the 76 guarantee you are spook, but let's pray that we don't get that far. And so with that being said, let's hit the exclusive summon. Let's hit the tenor and let's go get it. Come on. Give me something nice, give me something spicy, and that is just going to be an SSR. Uh, a big pile of disappointment and anxiety, uh, if I may say so myself. However, it looks like the share button is back and working, and so that is a nice 50 gem rebate. <laughs> it's, uh, it's okay, I think. However, that is not a flora. Uh, oh, I mean, <laughs> it's not the right flora, let's put it that way. And so it looks like I do get to pick up a Luan dupe, which is okay. Uh, not exactly what I'm looking for, but let's go again. This is 20 summons in, and we are going to get a SSR again. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, please fix your rates, yo star. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, so that's a SSR, Tama. So it looks like it, we got two SSRs. And so with that, we're still a little bit in the disappointment zone. Uh, let's look for a UR. Come on, give me a UR. And that is a blue bag. Oh my god. Okay, that that's a fat tilter. That is a fat fat tilter not even a single ssr i'm uh i'm not sure how i feel about this i feel like i should stop pulling but you guys already know how it is i am not going to stop pulling there let's get a ur uh that is an ssr again holy crap i hate these rates so much so we've got shuffle i i'm actually i'm actually devastated right now we've got another 30 pulls we get another blue bag are you serious holy crap okay we go again we go again you are you all what are these crappy rates what is going on, man? All right, last pull. Last 10 pull, and we are going to hit 
a uh, UR. Okay, we're going to hit a UR, and that's might be pity. That, I, wait, no, that's not pity. This is only 70 pulls. Wait, 30? Yeah, so this is like six away from pity. So let's see what we get. Please, the right flora. Give me the right flora this time. <laughs> oh my god, if they spooked me with another freaking flora, that'd be so, so sad. So Yothaya over here, and we are going to get the right flora. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, that's... uh. That's cool. That's cool. I, I didn't really want to go broke for it. Uh, so that's, uh, that's, uh, um, okay. So let's kind of just confirm that and, uh, um, reflect upon what I just did. That was, um, uh, I'm not, sh I'm not sure about whether that was a good choice or not, but Hey, at least I hit another one of these achievements, which is have $50. Wow. A 500 gem rebate. I'm that, that's that's great but man my freaking luck sucks ass man it's, isn't it like a two percent rate and i didn't find a ur until like 70 pulls in and i think the same thing i hit pity on the last one as well if i'm not wrong but i may be wrong i may be a little bit skit so i may just have some memory loss issues and so with that being said that's it for the rolls hopefully you guys enjoyed those and so my guys before we go any further let me quickly tell you about our sponsor ld player ld player is a lightweight modern emulator that will serve all of your mobile gaming and app needs. It's got features such as key mapping, we've got multi-instancing, we've got sync operations, we've got high frame rate mode at 120 FPS. Honestly, I've been partnering with LD Player for a couple of months now and like there's a reason as to why I keep doing so. LD Player is my preferred emulator for Revive Witch, however, if it comes to punishing Grey Raven, it is, I, in my opinion, the best emulator. Alas, unfortunately, I don't play PGR anymore, but if you do, I would highly recommend it. Otherwise, if you would like to try out LD Player, player head on down to the description or the pinned comment and click on the link there. Doing so might also support me but otherwise thank you again to LD player for the sponsorship. And so with that let's get back to the video. Hi welcome back to another Revive Witch video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking a little bit about Flora. I've also got some footage of doing some pulls for Flora. I don't know if that's going to come before or after but hopefully you guys do or did enjoy that segment and so with that being said let's move on to evaluating Flora herself. And so the Flora that I am referring to is not the healer flora it is actually the mage one and so it looks like pixel neko or yosa whoever is making these decisions they have decided that alternative characters are going to be a good idea so here we've got the flora dream stage all right and so before i show you guys some play tests let's have a quick look through some of the skills and so just starting off with the skill one the order skill we've got deals magic damage equal to 70 percent of attack to all enemies four times and at max this bad boy does a hundred percent of attack to all enemies four times Time. So that is 400% for a two cost skill. Very, very normal, quite good ratios. If you guys have a look across your mages, you'll realize that two cost order skills are pretty much the standard. However, on top of that, we've got applies intoxicated to all the targets. So intoxicated allows Flora to deal 30% more damage to the enemies that she has inflicted this upon. And so this one is interesting, right? Because as always, we have to look at the competitors. She is going to be a Mercury mage. And so she is very, very much competing against the Uch PR, she is competing against the Maya. She is also competing against the recently released Cersei. And the thing that really stands out to me about the skill is that Intoxicated only allows the target to take 30% more damage from Flora herself. Whereas if you think about some of the other options, so I've got Cersei over here and she reduces the target's magic defense equal to 28% of Cersei's attack. And so there are a couple of different ways that you can approach this, right? Reducing the target's magic defense, this could be capped again at the maximum of 1.5. 5k and so therefore this could be redundant. On the other hand, if you're not actually capping out on this, so say for example you're running like Compella Compella Mage and you're not running your Aphelin, then this would actually be really really freaking good. Because reducing the target's magic defense means that everybody is going to be doing more damage to that mob. Whereas on the other hand, if we come over to Flora, it is only Flora who will be doing extra damage. And so what I think this actually comes down to is very much team comps, right? So if I was looking at someone like Cersei, I would actually 
probably try to run her with like Maya or somebody else who does defense shred but not as much as Athelin and try to get away with like a DPS DPS almost heal compeller setup and try to omit the tank and obviously I probably can't do this for some of the harder content but if you're well enough if you are going for those time attack rankings then that is probably what I would do. On the other hand we have Ushpia over here and her skill is poison where she deals magic damage equal to 20% plus x amount of stacks and so this bad boy just scales and scales and scales and this is one major reason as to why Ashpia is so good. However, at the end of the day, it is all damage, there's not overly much utility to it and especially if it's just doing like personal DPS, I think there just needs to be a more scientific look at it, I would say. Looking at some like DPS simulations or like simulation charts, DPS charts, stuff like that. But as it stands, it looks like our alternative flora is going to be competing with like a DPS spot because if we come over to her skill 2, you'll see deals magic damage equal to 60% of attack to a single target four times. But then the cool thing about this is that after deducting the chaos energy this skill consumed, every one chaos energy left increases the damage dealt by 20%. And so that's pretty cool. It's pretty clear what exactly is happening here. If you guys know those weapons or like the armor pieces from the chest that we can buy from the shop, those chaos skill or auto skill 740 gear score rating equipments, this skill is kind of working in the same way, right? It's whatever chaos energy we have left over here and it looks looks like that this is a single target skill. And so if you guys do end up bringing Flora into like bossing or whatever, you just need to remember this one over here. And it's that she's going to be getting the maximum amount of damage when you're in that like fast high pace mode, the frenzy mode thing where you can spam everything because the chaos energy doesn't deplete. And so she is going to be getting like 160% extra damage, something like that. And so honestly, when you put it that way, this skill is looking a little bit, a little bit busted. And then lastly, let's have a quick look at her passive after every three dazzling skill casts when this hits level two it's actually after every one dazzling skills cast the next dazzling stage consumes three less chaos energy and so that's pretty nice it goes from a four cost down to a one cost and so to kind of show how this actually looks so if i use two and then i use two again order skill order skill so as you can see i have six of these chaos points and then i'm going to use the skill once i am still on the four cost i'm going to use it again so one more time over here and then I'm going to use it one more time so that's going to make it my third skill cost and then as you can see the number for the chaos cost has gone down to one and so what that means is that I can just push this and it's only going to consume one and it's going to do the dazzling stage and obviously or maybe not so obviously like you want to be using dazzling stage as high of a chaos point as you can so however let's go into the burst mode and when we go into the burst mode we really really want auto on to be on this one over here because it's just going to do like chunky chunky damage. And so yeah, that's Flora's kit in a nutshell. Uh, whether you should roll for her or not, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit hard to say. For me, I'm always a massive, massive fan of utility, right? Whether this be in defense down or in stuns or heals, something like that. However, after playing through this game for a couple of months now, this game is clearly, clearly very, very easy. There isn't any like obscenely hard stages. And so it's for that reason that I'm just going to say, and probably from now until forever or until we get some really hard stuff, if you like her, roll for her. If you don't, then don't. But from a meta point of view, it's kind of like average. And especially because most of us are going to be oversaturated in Mercury units. I'm going to say, and again, this is for if you are following meta, probably don't roll for Flora. And the reason is because we have Catherine coming up. We do have Shire coming up, but like between all of these different characters, Catherine is probably the most meta changing. But yeah, like none of this content is really hard enough to be like, oh man, you gotta pull for Catherine, this or that. And so hopefully that was kind of useful. And with that, I want to ask the question to you guys. Did you guys pull for the alternative Flora dream stage over here? Or are you guys gonna do a little bit of a pass? On top of that, how did you guys feel about my evaluation of her. I didn't even compare her to Maya, but you guys already know that Maya is like my golden child. She's got the heals, she's got the utility. And so yeah, it's honestly gonna be pretty hard to top both Maya and Ashpia who have a stun and a heal respectively. Regardless, let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you do so, then I would be really appreciative because it means you've made it up until the end of the video. So thank you guys so much. But otherwise, if you did like this video, please consider a like. And if you do want to see more, please consider a subscribe. But otherwise, as your girl Flora wants said all good things must come to an end and so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye